There it is. Those two major interchanges, it's at a cost of 440 million. Now let's look at the MPP's record on building interchanges. First, let's look at the Tema Motorway interchange. How much this one cost this complex interchange along with four foot bridges cost 55.6 million dollars yes look at it tema motorway interchange 55.6 million dollars kaswa incomplete interchange 170 million dollars Tema Motorway Interchange was open to a competitive bidding process where multiple companies present their proposal. Then a team of experts looks at every aspect of their proposals and selects the best among them. Next is Pokuase Interchange. This one will be four levels, which is only the second on the entire continent of Africa, with the only other one in South Africa. This is what it would look like when completed. And we are told it's 72% complete. But thus far, what has been completed looks very closely like the planned drawings. it cost 59 million dollars just 59 million dollars that's right 59 million for four levels and as much as 10 kilometers overall elevated dual carriage roads we will return to these in a minute the pokwasi interchange was also open to competitive bidding process where multiple companies presented their proposal then a team of experts looks at every aspect of their proposals and selects the best among them then there's obituary lamptey circle interchange when the two phases are completed, this interchange will have two levels of dual carriage roads directly intersecting each other with a runabout at the bottom, thus making it a three-level interchange. This one is a complicated one, and it will cost $133 million when completed. The Obechibi Lamptey Circle Interchange was also open to competitive bidding process where multiple companies present their proposal. Then a team of experts looks at every aspect of their proposals and select the best among them. Then lastly, the Tamale Interchange. This is the only sole source among the four MPP interchanges because the Chinese brought in their own money to build it. So that's understandable. Remember that the other three... Tema Motorway, Pokuase, and Obechibi Lamte interchanges were all open to competitive bidding. When completed, the Tamale interchange will cost just $35 million and it would look like this. So let us recap. The NDC the so-called infrastructure government built two major interchanges, one complete, which is the so-called Dubai, and the other woefully incomplete in Kaswa. And the price tag for these two, just these two, is, drum roll, 
40 million dollars almost have a billion dollars in contracts the npp will build four major interchanges more complicated the thermal motorway Pokuase, Obechebi Lamte, and Tamale interchanges, and all four major interchanges will cost only $283 million. Notice that the amount of money, $270 million, that Mahama used to build the Dubai interchange alone is almost the same as Nanadu used to build not one, not two, but four interchanges which amounted to $283 million. Let me show you. Tema Motorway, $55.6 million. Pokwase, $59 million. Obechebi Lamte, $133 million. Tamale, $35 million. And all for a total of $283 million which is just $13 million more or almost the same as what Mahama used to build just the Dubai interchange. There's a clear difference in accountability and value for money between the two governments of Nanado Danko Ekufuado and that of Dramani Mahama. With Nanado, Ghanaians gave him money to go buy us four Range Rovers and he returned with four quality Range Rover vehicles, I'll say custom made, especially for us, at a reasonable price. And with John Mahama, he brought us one Toyota Corolla and a Deu Tico and took more money than Nanadu used to purchase four Range Rovers custom made for us. So next time Mahama and the NDC come to you and brag about their infrastructure record, I want you to look them in the eye and ask them one question. Where is our balance? Be sure to like our social media pages and subscribe to our YouTube pages. And if you have information for us, please send it to truthinpoliticsg8 at gmail.com. My name is Lady Just, and this has been Truth in Politics.